Card games, what are they? I sure don't know. My laughable grasp upon the medium of decorated card has been an ever-present deficiency. Like every kid, I used to buy Pokemon cards and not play with them. And even though I got plenty of practice losing to my brother's fire deck playing Yu-Gi-Oh, it would be boastful to say my understanding of the game was mediocre. Card games have the jewel fuckers trick of having a rule density somewhat comparable to a collapsing neutron star, and needing a doctorate in said rules before the game even begins. Now let me explain the rules. That's basically the basics. It feels like they're specifically designed to hate my guts, and yet I'm still enthralled by them. I'm the bystander off in the corner locked onto the mystic ritual taking place at the table, not able to follow along with anything that's happening, but still overwhelmingly aware as to its excellence. At first, their complexity implies rigidity, but it is the opposite. Like the infinitely unfolding variety of game states in chess, a card game well understood is jazz, the player caressing the rules like a virtuoso as the cards dance across the table. Barriers to entry are an unfortunate necessity for these performances, for without freedom of choice, there would be no fun at all. Inscription is a card game for people that don't know anything about card games. At least, to my uncouth mind, it's both accessible and utterly fantastic. Not only that, it's absolutely off its lips. The twist that most good games would save until the very end happens in literally the first game you play, and it only gets more bonkers from there. There are seriously parts of this game so weird that I had to loudly ask myself what was even happening anymore, and if you'd rather experience that for yourself, now is the point of no return. It weaves its tutorialization naturally into both its narrative and presentation. Instead of being disheartened by the vast array of mechanics that you must understand to have any chance of succeeding, the video game single player roguelike nature of Inscription allows it to slowly introduce more complexity as the player begins to get to grips with the rules. You start by learning about simple sacrifices and attacking powers in a small woodland cabin, and even though you hardly realise the changes, by the end it feels like you're playing a different game entirely. This idea is so central to the game that its core mechanic could be described as its constant addition of new mechanics. The whole game is tutorial, constantly shifting and changing. The pace is never too fast as to make any single edition too much to handle, but it never gives you a moment to become bored or complacent. The game itself is extremely forgiving, though you must match its treadmill to survive. Viewed from outside, this could be seen as a cop-out of not wanting to commit to one idea and stick to it but I'd prefer to view it as a free-flowing way of expressing what it feels like to create an intricate card game. Which mechanics should stay and which should be left on the cutting room floor? Is it better to have something clean and static, but a little lifeless? Or something with so much variety that it's bound to be full of broken exploits? The game presents these questions front and centre in the twin snakes of mechanics and overarching narrative. Both player and creator are represented in the scribes, as the player, they simply want to play a fun and engaging game. As the creator, their minds are constantly racing, full of indecision, ceaselessly changing rules and mechanics, each with opposing ideas as to what is good or fun, each as unsure as the last of what they truly want the game to be, locked in an ever-raging struggle to create and maintain control over the perfect card game, united only by their certainty that the other scribes must not be allowed to decide. Whilst this battle allows precisely none of them to achieve their perfect vision of the game, their warring and coexistence helps balance the experience out into a self-renewing, ever-fresh and entertaining experience. This exploration of myriad mechanics only made possible by their caffeine-high-like jittering insanity. As the player, we are just along for a ride. We sometimes briefly, sometimes indulgently experience the differing variations of inscriptions, presentation and gameplay and we are left to make our own minds as to the best configuration of the game. Rather than being dropped into an ocean for us to gulp down as best we can, Inscription is a roller coaster. With the illusion of control, we are strapped in, every thrilling moment perfectly placed along the way. We shout, we laugh, we sit in stunned silence, and then we disembark before the motion sickness kicks in. We are left wanting more, wondering what could have been, 
And then the game clears the table, extends a hand, and asks if we'd like to go again. In the end, Inscription taught me that it's less about being the best or playing the perfect game, and more about having someone to play with. Thank you for watching. Peace.